the God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, would you please conduct the roll call attendance? President Kushmerich. Present. Councillor Bean. Councillor Boschman. Present. Councillor Bezal. Present. Councillor Clark. Here. Yeah. Councillor Di Natale. Here. Yeah. Councillor Green. Present. Councillor Joseph. Here. Yeah. Councillor Caddy. Here. Yeah. Councillor Tran. Here. Yeah. Warren for a special meeting of the City Council. <clears throat> uh, a special meeting of the City Council will be held on Tuesday, April 5th, 2016 at 6 p.m. Memorial Middle School Library, 615 Rollstone Street, Fitchburg, Massachusetts. To elect one city councilor at large to fill a vacancy due to a resignation for a term to expire on the, on the first Monday in January following the next regular municipal election, term to expire January 2018, in accordance with the City Charter, Division 2, Section 59A. Councilors, you have the uh, the rules. All rules uh, and regulations have been sent to both the uh, council and the candidates. Do I have a motion to accept said rules? Motion to accept the rules. Second. second. I have a motion and second to accept the rules. Uh, just a point of clarification, um, uh, Mr. Pusteri, could you please confirm uh, the majority as it pertains to number six? Sure. <coughs> um, Old Massachusetts general law and our charter require a majority uh, in order to elect a city councilor to be a uh, member, a majority of all the remaining members of the body. Consequently, in the interpretation of the special rules, the word majority shall be six. Thank you. I have a motion and second to adopt the rules. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Council Tran, one in opposition. Madam Clerk, could you please read the names uh, for the candidates of Council at Large and conduct the lottery? Candidates are Andrew Cordio, Andrew Kucher, B. Thomas Donnelly, Miguel Flatus, Michael Hurley, Jorge Rodriguez, and Sam Squalia. This time a lottery will be conducted um, to determine the order of presentations by candidates. Did a good job here. <laughs> <laughs> well, number one. Yeah, right. Five. Six. Number seven. Thank you. Candidates, at this time, uh, you'll be allotted uh, each uh, three minutes uh, to give a, uh, a brief presentation. I'll be uh, keeping the time at approximately the two minute and 30 second mark. Uh, I'll at least tap my pen so you at least know that you have about 30 seconds uh, remaining uh, time to speak. Uh, at this time, I would invite uh, candidate Rodriguez to come forward for the presentation. If you would please sit at the center table so the folks on FATV can hear you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, councillors, and good evening, everyone uh, here present tonight. My name is uh, Jorge Rodriguez. I'm very well known in the community as Georgie Rodriguez. I am currently a minister of the New Life Spanish Christian Church here in Fishburne, also a radio and TV personality, and a community organizer, community leader, community activist, and I have been a resident of the uh, city of Fishburne <coughs> for over 30 years. I got three sons. They were all born here in uh, the city of, uh, Bur of uh, Bourbon Hospital, city of Fishburne, and I currently reside with my dear wife, uh, Daisy, up here in the Upper Claiborne. Uh, we own a property. Uh, and uh, we are uh, taxpayers and registered voters as well. Uh, I have organized through the years many voter registration drives in our community. 
I have worked closely with charitable events to raise funds and awareness for different organizations of our community. And most of you might know me because you have, we have worked together uh, in different electoral campaigns since Bernard Chartrand to Richard Girard in the city of Lemonster. And tonight, I come before you to ask for your vote to become the city uh, next councilor at large. I acknowledge the experience, uh, it is a plus, but you also need the desire, the heart, and the passion and love to serve your community and I'm willing and committed to do so. I come before you to ask for a vote of confidence. There's still a lot of work to do in our city, lots of problems to be solved. I'm gonna bring new ideas, fresh ideas to the table and work together as an independent Christian that I am. I want to solve problems and help with problems that our city still needs to be worked on and be addressed. I'm not going to look the other way when it comes to hard work, we still need to solve problems with our homeless people who sleep under the bridge or in empty abandoned buildings we have all around the city. We still need to work together with the streets, the roads, the bridges that are in disrepair and in need of immediate work. We need to work with all the city departments to make our city great again, make it more efficient, to bring new businesses, enterprises, and just for an example, just take a look at downtown. We've been working with downtown for many years, and still it's a ghost town, and many of you know that because you've been here for a long, long time. As I mentioned this, I want you to acknowledge that we still have issues with unemployment, businesses closing, companies closing, and moving out because of high taxes and high utility rates. I come here tonight to let you know that I'm going to contribute with positive ideas. I come to work and I come to make a difference. I'm going to fight for the poor, for the needy, for the property owners, for the small business owners, and for all the constituents of our great city and make Fitchburg a wonderful city again. We need fresh blood in the chambers of the city council. I ask for your vote. I ask for your confidence in me. I hope that you could make the right choice. Many of our constituents of Sir, our your time city. Has elapsed. I'm sorry. Your time has elapsed. If you could finish your la your final sentence. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, if uh, I want to thank you all tonight uh, for allowing me to uh, speak before you, and even if I'm not elected, I will continue serving our community like, uh, like I have been for the past 30 years. And before I retire, in Proverbs 29, uh, verses 2, it says that when the righteous govern the people rejoice. God bless you, God bless Fitchburg, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have uh, candidate Cordio. If you would kindly approach the center table. Good evening, Council. Good evening. Thank you all for your time. Um, all right. For those of you who don't yet know me, uh, my name is Andrew Cordio. Uh, my family has lived here for many years. We own and operate the 5050 Diner on uh, the corner of Oak Hill Road and River Street. We've been there for 16 years now. Um, I don't really plan to spend a lot of time talking about me. I realize that if this turns into a, an exercise about who has the most extensive resume, I'm not going to really stack up right now. Um, instead, I'd like to talk about the, the people of this city and, and, and the city itself. Um, with me, I forgot my folder up at the table, but I have 350 signatures with me here tonight. Um, I was able to amass those over the last week, and those are people that I see on a very regular basis uh, being at the diner. These are people who, who live in the city, their families, their business owners, their contractors, landscapers, attorneys, employees of the university. Um, there's a couple of standing board members on, the, on that list. And... Uh, If there's one common thread that I got from all of these people, it's that they're looking for a new face in City Hall. They're looking for fresh ideas. Uh, everybody seems very excited about the new mayor. Um, things seem like they're going in a really good direction, and I feel like we could build on that a lot as a city. Um, if any of you councilors are lucky enough to be at the Reimagine uh, North of Maine this past Thursday, you actually heard the mayor touch on a, a need for young leadership in the city, and I, I think we have a a good opportunity to do that tonight. Um, I recognize this is a, a crucial time for the city. 
I, I understand that, and I understand how this is a very important spot for the city. I think that if you guys went ahead and, and elected someone younger, a fresher face, it would go a long way towards really building some excitement in the community, um, really letting people know that, you know, things are changing. It's an exciting time to be in the city. Um, I have a lot of ideas, not getting into too, too much specifics. I'd love to see us work with the college as much as we possibly can, get that campus as big as we can. I believe the bigger campus we have, the better of a city we're going to have. Um, the better our relationship with them, I think we can really help each other out a lot in the long run. Um, other than that, I'm going to keep it short. If you guys have any questions, please uh, feel free. But that is my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Speaking third, candidate Squalia. Good evening. Evening, council and community watching FATV. I'm Sam Squalia. I'm a homeowner and I'm raising my family here. I work in building engineering and I own a small business here. So I am dedicated to the city. I with the vacancy, I felt I had a duty to offer to serve and get more involved in that capacity. As an engineering project manager, I feel that I can add value to the city with my knowledge in zoning, codes, capital improvements, uh, future planning, and um, renewable energy. As a small business owner, that started in our garage in Fitchburg. I, I know that locally owned small businesses can be the foundation of our economic success. And we are vested in the community and we are stakeholders to it. Um, so I want to support policies that help foster small business growth in that regard. I volunteer and serve on numerous groups and board of directors, um, a Fitchburg Pride, the Longsdale Foundation, the um, Fitchburg Access Television, and I started a nonprofit, the Friends of Fitchburg Dogs, in order to start a dog park in the city of Fitchburg. So I try to be as active and involved as I can in the community. And I try to talk to as many people and groups as I can so that I can know what's going on and connect other people with that information. I uh, believe that there is a great value in the city in strengthening and connecting our community. A city with a strong community is a place that people want to go and live and businesses can start and grow. Um, so this is why I organize a community calendar. I host a show on FATV and I started the Discussing Fitchburg Now Facebook group in order to disseminate information to the community with over 5,000 members talking everything in Fitchburg and so much more sometimes. Uh, this group is amazing. We use the group to share information about everything in the city including businesses, events, missing pets. We've reunited so many missing pets. It's, it's fantastic. People have shared pictures of fires that are occurring and residents that get displaced. And, and people go and immediately uh, go down there with clothes and food and offer shelter. So we're building a strong community in that regard. Um, we've organized a few trash cleanups as well. Hashtag trash bag challenge. And uh, the time so has elapsed. If you could com conclude your final thought. Okay. I feel I have a duty to the city to offer my skills and my energy and my passion in the community connectiveness um, in any way that I can help in any capacity that I can. And thank you to all our applicants because that is inspiring. And thank you to everyone on the council for everything that you do to help our city. Thanks. Next, we have candidate Donnelly. Good evening. Good evening, councilors, mayor. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you. 
I've been living, going to school, and working in Fitchburg for most of my life. When I graduated from Fitchburg State, I purchased my first home and became a taxpayer. I worked for the Fitchburg Redevelopment Authority in City Hall, where I learned about local government. As an adult, I grew to love our city for all the opportunities it has so you can live, work, and play here. I started as a neighborhood activist in the college neighborhood, and I helped to organize the first volunteer neighborhood cleanup there in 1979. Later, I served on the zoning board, the city council, and presently I serve on the Fitchburg Redevelopment Authority board. I've come to know every neighborhood in the city of Fitchburg and many people who volunteer in the neighborhoods. I began volunteering in the city because I was interested and I felt that cleaner is better. This interest grew into a lifelong passion and I continue to make Fitchburg the best it can be for my family and all the families that call Fitchburg home. I know I have a lot to offer the city and the council and I'd be honored to receive your vote so I can serve in the council with you. Thank you. Next, we have uh, candidate Hurley. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Mr. President, City Councilors. My name is Michael Hurley. I uh, was a former City Councilor and presently a member of the Planning Board, where I have been for 17 years. And you've all had a chance to look at my resume. I'll just make a few short points. It was never my intention to have to defend my decision not to run last fall. So this is out there, and people are asking, including one of the candidates, here it is. Last summer, my brother-in-law was very ill. I spent almost every day driving my sister to Brigham and Women's in Boston. That left little time to run a proper campaign. He passed on October 2nd. I am not looking for the sympathy vote. I only wanted to explain my situation. People have also mentioned if the last time I was on the city council wasn't there an ethics issue. There was. I was an employee of Monty Tech and a councilor at large. Someone asked the ethics committee if I could vote on the Monty Tech budget. In my second term, they ruled that I could. However, I could not be paid as a teacher and a city councilor at the time. Rather than cost the city the work and the expense of a running a special election, I chose to serve for more than one year as a councillor without pay. My resume shows that I am dedicated to the city that I love and will continue to do so. In closing, I will say that I am also very proud of the fact that I am a Vietnam era vet. Thank you. I hope you consider me for your vote tonight. <coughs> Next, we have candidate Kucher. <coughs> Good evening. Good evening. <coughs> I would first like to start by thanking the council uh, for the opportunity to present myself uh, for consideration for the appointment of city councilor. I'm sure you're all aware of who I am as I've met and spoke with each of you in uh, my recent campaign. Um, Last year's campaign gave me a unique perspective about our city uh, and the issues that are present within our city. Even six months after the election, I still have uh, constituents coming to me asking me for, you know, to stay within the city and to help, and that's why I'm here. Recently, I was approached by a resident of the city pleading for my help. She was living in deplorable conditions. This was the height of the winter, and people were dealing with sub-zero temperatures. This person was at her breaking point and she came to me for help. I was able to work with the mayor's office and with the Board of Health to secure a temporary residence for her, and ultimately, she was able to find a safe, stable, and warm place for her family. I mention this not to gloat or to uh, use this woman's unfortunate situation for political gain, but to show my ability to use my legal knowledge, negotiating techniques, and my ability to compromise to obtain the best results for the residents of the city. Uh, incidentally, once this woman was removed from the property, the Board of Health immediately deemed it unfit for human habitation. 
Unfortunately, this is an issue <coughs> rampant in this city, and I want to help. On the opposite end of the spectrum, I understand that the city needs my help. I'm currently working on an issue in which the city was uh, in an alleged con uh, conflict with the property owner. The city was suing the wrong party and after going and was going after an 85-year-old woman who only understands Italian. After a brief time researching the subject property, I was able to correct this problem. I'm proud to say that the, pro the correct property owner is working with the Board of Health, the Building Department, and the Fire Department with my help to correct the issues with the property and to better the neighborhood as a whole. It took a legal mind to find these issues, explain them in a clear, concise manner, and take care of the problem. That's what I want to bring to the Council. As an attorney, I can advise the council about some of the dangers that we, we face. As a father of two young children, my family is always looking for ways to stay in Fitchburg for family-friendly activities, like the holiday tree lighting ceremony. As a member of the Fitchburg Rod and Gun Club and the uh, British American Club, I've had the opportunity to partic participate in functions with members of our community. Most notably, I was able to introduce my oldest daughter to our leaders in the state government by working on the recent state rep campaign. She still has the bird fee that, that she made with uh, Governor Baker. The business community also needs some help. And we need somebody who not only loves this city, but also works outside of the city in order to advocate for them. And I'm proud to say that even though, um, I'm proud to say that I've been in contact with a doctor he came to me and he was like, I'm looking to reach out, reach out into Central Mass. Candidate, please conclude your final thought. Thank you. Well, he has, has agreed to open up a practice, a pain management practice in Fitchburg. And we're going to be starting to look for properties within the city for him to start a practice. And this is going to add um, to our, um, this is going to help the, um, the opioid problem in Fitchburg, because he is against opioids and alternative, but he is promotes alternative solutions for pain management. Candidate, your your time has expired. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Next, we have candidate Fleetus. Good evening. Good evening, City Council. Good evening, Good evening Mayor Clerk. I was actually was going to read from my prepared statement, but I will not. I'm actually going to speak out from my heart. Uh, we all know that the city needs help. That's no question about it. Uh, we have good people here that are trying to come up and come up with the knowledge of what to do and how to do it and being sitting next to all you great people to come up with those solutions. I have had a unique opportunity to travel outside the country. I've seen outside the country what, you know, good success government, what done for the people, and what not so successful has been failure. All that knowledge is up here. I have brought it with me. It's funny because as I go out, and I've been out, I belong to the Navy. The, Na the Army awarded me a medal, and that medal was because I was the chief of the watch during a time frame when I was recovering from medical injuries. Why do I bring that up? 2014, I suffered a major heart attack. That didn't stop me from finishing my school in two years, instead of the four. Didn't stop me from running for mayor. And it sure is not going to stop me anything to help out the city of Fitchburg and the people of Fitchburg. That's why I'm here. I want to continue in trying to help the city of Fitchburg. Thank you. This time, all candidates uh, have concluded their uh, presentations. I'd just like to take a very brief opportunity to thank all candidates. Uh, grateful to those um, who are willing to serve. Uh, it's certainly not easy to put yourself in this situation uh, in front of the council, in front of the public, um, and speak about your qualifications. There's only one seat, uh, and there will be only one candidate who will be elected here this evening. Um, and, and to those of you um, who don't have the opportunity, I certainly hope you'll take the opportunity to stay involved, channel that passion that you've exhibited here tonight, um, and, and uh, help move the city forward. 
Uh, with that said, uh, we'll now move forward um, into uh, the, uh, the voting procedures. Madam Clerk, um, I will turn this over to you, Councillors. I'll just um, very quickly remind you that we need to reach a, um, a necessary number of six votes uh, to elect um, the Councillor, and I'll emphasize that um, uh, if more than one uh, vote uh, round of voting is necessary, uh, the lowest vote getter or vote getters, if there is a tie, will be removed um, from the next ballot. In the event of a tie, um, all of those who are tied at the lowest will be removed, um, and uh, only those um, top vote getters will move on. Are there any questions before we move into voting procedures? Madam Clerk. Councillors, uh, please state the name of the candidate for whom you are voting after I call your name. Councillor Tran. I vote. I just want to say thank you to all of all the applicants for being here tonight, submitting your intentions and um, your applications for this spot. It's not easy. There's well over 40,000 residents in this city, and there's only seven of you that came forward. And that takes a lot of bravery and courage. I was very disturbed and um, very disgusted that I read in the newspaper that one of my fellow colleagues used the newspaper to discredit two of you. And there's only seven of you that came forward in this huge city. So my, before I cast my vote, you know, I, what I'm looking for is honesty, common sense, the ability to act and speak independently, and someone who can represent the diversity in the city. And my, my vote goes to um, Minister George Rodriguez. President Kushmerick. Candidate E. Thomas Donnelly. Councilor Bean is absent. Councilor Boschman. Thomas Donnelly. Councilor Beasall. Mr. Early. Councilor Clark. Tom Donnelly. Councilor Dean Natale. Tom Donnelly. Councilor Green. Tom Donnelly. Councilor Joseph. Mr. Hurley. Councilor Caddy. Tom Donnelly. Mr. Donnelly has received six votes, which is required to be elected. Time, uh, the clerk will now swear in a uh, new city councilor uh, at large, uh, Mr. Thomas Donnelly. Please raise your right hand. I do solemnly promise and swear. I do, prom do solemnly promise and swear that I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. And to the best of my knowledge and ability and to the best of my knowledge and ability perform and discharge all the duties perform and discharge all the duties incumbent upon me incumbent upon me as city councilor at large as city councilor at large for the city of Pittsburgh for the city of Pittsburgh so help me God so help me God So that concludes the agenda for this evening. I have a motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone.